Hello YouTube, hello Internet, it's Irix Guy here. Uh, I've actually received quite a bit of feedback about uh, how to find a bullion dealer. How do I find a bullion dealer that uh, uh, sells for as little as possible over spot price of the precious metal? How do I find a bullion dealer that, uh, that's uh, reputable when it comes to, uh, to shipping the items, not only quickly, but in a secure fashion where the, uh, where the coins and or bullion do not arrive broken? Um, there's, there's a lot of ways to go about this. Now, I'm, I'm not affiliated with any bullion dealer. I, I do business with quite a few, but uh, when I first began this uh, quest for coins and bullion a few years ago, I had to do a lot of uh, research. I read a lot of forums, uh, did a lot of Google searches, and found the, uh, found the bullion dealers that people... Uh, most frequently recommended. Now, not to say my recommendations are correct, uh, but the the uh, top ones that I that I uh, stumbled upon, there was uh, Northwest Territorial Mint. Now, that's back when I first started, and I was primarily collecting uh, uh, generic uh, private mint silver bars only. And then I got into coins, so I I discovered uh, Apmex Amer American Precious Metals Exchange. And also discovered uh, Provident Metals. Now, ProvidentMetals.com is definitely my favorite. Uh, the reason being, they're always efficient when it comes to uh, shipping. Selling to Provident's uh, an easy process. Uh, when they ship their products, they package them really well. Uh, the shipping is affordable. And sure, a lot of people, when buying bullion online, you can look at it and say, okay, the shipping charge is uh, you know, $5, $8, whatever it may be and I'm only buying one coin, so that's putting that coin another five or eight dollars or whatever over spot. Well, that's one way to look at it. Now, another way to look at it, by doing business online uh, for, your, uh, for your bullion uh, uh, transactions, there, there are some advantages. For a lot of states, people don't have to pay sales tax if they're uh, purchasing from a, uh, uh, from a vendor outside of the state. So you've got to factor that in. If you're going to pick up a coin or a piece of bullion at a local shop, you're probably going to uh, probably going to have to pay a significant amount of sales tax, and their markup is likely going to be higher because of the volume that they sell. Uh, most of the time, these online bullion dealers will uh, uh, will sell at a much greater volume, and therefore they can offer a a uh, lower premium over spot for the cost of their coins and bullion. And, and another thing to consider, and this is just something that, that I've dug up uh, throughout all my research, is that uh, you can look at uh, Better Business Bureau. Just go to the official Better Business Bureau website and plug in the name of the company that, uh, that you're interested in doing business with. And I can tell you, I've, as of a week or so ago, I ran a, uh, a Better, Bu Better Business Bureau check rather for both American Precious Metals Exchange and uh, Provident Metals, and they were both in the A range. I think one was an A minus, and one was an A plus. So I mean, that's that's another thing. If you're if you're trying to find that bullion dealer, uh, in particular one that's online, that's probably a step that I would recommend. Now, there's advantages to doing, in my opinion, there's advantages to doing business with the online bullion dealers. Uh, number one is that the uh, the the likelihood of of receiving a counterfeit coin and or bullion item is likely less. And the reason I say that is that due to the size of uh, these operations, they likely have more skilled staff, staff that can uh, uh, better identify the, uh, uh, the counterfeit bullion if it, you know, if it trickles into their store. And, and another good sign with this as well is that if you sell to these people, for example, you buy bullion from these online bullion dealers or whomever for that matter, and then you resell the bullion that you previously purchased from them and they buy it, well, there's another indicator that, that they're legitimate because they wouldn't buy uh, counterfeit bullion. So you're selling back what you bought. That's an that's a extra form of reassurance that the uh, precious metals that you purchased were, uh, were pure and not uh, counterfeit in any way. So uh, those are some things that I, that I do, that, that I've done rather. I'm trying to think of any other any other techniques that uh, I'd like to throw out there, and there's really, there's really not a lot. And like I said, I don't work for any of these companies. I just, you know, I've grown to really enjoy uh, 
uh, stacking precious metals and, and now I've gotten into collecting coins, uh, primarily bullion coins and some semi-numismatic semi varieties if you've seen my uh, coin review videos. If you haven't, feel free to check it out. I've got a playlist, got a lot of coins and uh, trying to add to that on a, uh, on a weekly basis. Really looking forward to the new 2012 releases that are coming out. I'm going to try to get my hands on as many of those as I can and, and uh, post some video reviews. But uh, this, this is my opinion about finding a, uh, finding a reputable bullion dealer. And I welcome any comments or questions that you have. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to answer. And if, I, if, if, it's, uh, if it's a complex enough question, heck, I'll even, I'll even post a video response for you. So uh, thanks for watching. And again, uh, thanks for all the subscriptions. And feel free to uh, check out my other videos on YouTube, too. Have a good one.